Time. I'm Ron Burgundy. Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? Got a fun unboxing. I mentioned in the past that I work for a company called Onyx. And just pause for a second, like I've said it. I love my job so much. The people I work with are so sweet. Just the values line up so well. They continue to just send me like all these goodies. Like this is a hunting orange hat. So if you ever go like hunting or deer hunting, whatever it is, you wanna wear orange so no one else shoots you. Got two hats of that. And then another olive green hoodie, which if you don't know, my mom will happily tell you this is the color for our family, apparently. If Mama Foch says it, it is true. A bit ago, Onyx partnered with Montana Knife Company, MKC. Very popular right now. They make all sorts of knives, cool apparel, all that good stuff. They're incredibly popular right now. Anyways, we have a partnership with Montana Knife Company and we ran a giveaway for a specific nice, nice, not a specific nice, for a specific knife. There were only 200 of them made. I made a joke to a lot of folks that I was gonna try to enter myself, but that probably wouldn't be the best as I am an Onyx employee. Thank you for telling me the time, Siri. I bugged some Onyx folks that have like, kind of jokingly like, hey, it'd be really cool if I could get that knife. It is so cool. And then weeks, months kind of passed, and then suddenly a gentleman I work with, his name's Willard, said, hey, I got a surprise for you. Said he'll be shipping something my way. And at least for box openings, we're forever gonna use this Batman knife, but two things in this box. No way. I was bugging folks for a long time for this sweet, X hat because they didn't make these anymore. But I bugged enough people, but no way. And it fits like a dang, it fits like a dang glove. Let's go. <laughs> for the main attraction, working knives for working people, Montana Knife Company. If you like just very patriotic, very well-valued companies, highly recommend their product and their apparel. It's all great stuff. Even if you don't need knives, their apparel is pretty top notch. Oh my gosh. Here's a breakdown kind of what the what the knife is, what it's made out of, how long it is. 100% US made. This is like Christmas morning, y'all. Oh. They're doing everything right over at Montana Knife Company. There we go. Oh my God. Wait, there you go. Look at that. How cool is that? I have never, I'm so proud to work at Onyx. Like it is ridiculous. This I've just, I think, surpassed three months or about to approach three months. It's just the coolest. Like I've never worked at a company where like, even if I didn't work there, like I would wear this hat. I would wear this shirt. Meal time's over. I can't believe I also got a hat. So good. <laughs> We are going to pick up an old friend of mine. Him and I go way, way back. I can't, I can't wait to see him. He'll be spending the weekend in my place. It'll be a great time. Always is, seeing him. Very, very excited about this. Boys weekend, baby. Bubsy. I'm so excited. All right, come on. Thank you. Okay. Good right. boy. We're going up. Hey. And up we go. Okay, sit down. Thank you. You ready to go? He's a good boy. Okay. Boys weekend starting. You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Going to D Town today. Mike will be there, Marcellus will be there, and the whole other flock of people that are always great to see. But first, we gotta feed this little rascal. To say this dog is obsessed with this food is an understatement. <laughs> However, we've developed a good plan for keeping this mess relatively contained. And that is we eat in the bathtub. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, 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 hey. This is a Fodge household, so we say grace. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, shake, amen. Okay. Not one breath was taken. Go to the gym, have a good workout. Uh, today or tomorrow, we're gonna go to the ranch to shoot a little bit, shoot some clays. I am going out to Montana this coming week for work and actually a work event or like some, some fun that was planned through work and this just shows the uniqueness of the company that I work for is an upland bird hunt and I need to practice shooting a shotgun. So need to go to the ranch, practice a little bit, whether that's today or tomorrow, I'm not too sure, but that is on the docket for the weekend. So we shall see. <laughs> All right, you might be able to tell, but the workout started way before I got here. So the first bit, and I'll basically just be doing it by myself. It is a partner workout, but it is 200 meter run, 10 power snatches at 115, and then 10 pull-ups. And then it goes into other rounds, but I'll get to that as this workout goes, because I need to get moving. To the rockiness, rock steady beat of madness. Kind of in the thick of it a little bit. Starting the next piece of it, which is two rounds of 200 meter run, 10 snatches at 115, and then 15 chest of our pull ups. Whew. We're in the last bit here. We're on the last round, but. Just finishing up with 10 bar muscles. Ooh, boy, boy, oh boy. That was a sweaty one. Yep, I digress. Hardest part there, the snatches. Heart rate never really came down. Oh, thank you, friend. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, gang. How's that for you? Uh, the snatches were the whole workout. <laughs> Just long. Yeah. Buffering. Yeah. Buffering. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, my goal was to do, so we broke up all the snatches in sets of five, and my goal was to do fives the whole time, and I did, and muscle snatches historically aren't a huge strength, so I was proud I held on to fives for all the way through that. Second goal was to do all my gymnastics unbroken, and I was this close to accomplishing that goal, but uh, my grip started to break, and then like the Velcro snapped, so I had to come down on 7-3 there at the end for my last set of bar muscle ups. So I'm gonna blame that on equipment issues and not my own fitness, and I think we're just gonna call this day a success. I feel like for a while, Marcellus was always the most dialed when it came to the vlog talk. He had his script ready and everything, and now I actually think it's uh, it's Mike. Brother, that's off the cuff. That's off the I'm cuff. Just, I'm just polished. <laughs> yeah, dude, see? That's what I mean. Like, what? I'm just polished. I don't know. Hey, Mar Marcellus knew you were doing this today, so he probably that's prepared true. something in the car on the way over. That's true. <laughs> I did give the squad a heads up. Hey, it's that's, a vlog day. Yo, that's why he walked away. He's he's doing his last mental reps before he, he gets his screen time. What's up, world? Play the intro thought. Right. Bulls 95. All right, and we're back. What's the question? Post game. Post out. Good sweaty workout on a Saturday. Um, not too hard. Goal was to not slow Mike down on the run. So I tried to push through the snatches as much as I could to slow him down on the run. So it kind of worked to my advantage. Split up everything pretty evenly. And then on the muscle ups, it was just give me what you got on that last set. So hardest part of the workout was the snatches for sure. Even though I thought that was going to be the easiest, the run Y'all know me and running. Like we go together, go together. Like what is it? Oil and water. Honestly, the run was probably the break. The whole workout, you go at your own pace. It's always nice seeing people get out in front early, and then you just kind of know in your head. You don't got to say it, but you know what I'm talking about with vlog. Y'all know. Yeah, I was about 25 minutes late. Just raw dog in the workout, like crazy. 
No warm up. Yeah, we're coming in from our second set of a 200 meter run, and Foch is on his way out. I'm like, there is no way that you even touch. The only time you touch the barbell was to move it to where you were going to do your snatches at. No warm up. O to be what? 28. 29. 29. O to be 29 again. Someone that's kind of becoming a staple of these uh, these vlogs. Just my boy Raheem over here working on his knee health. You gotta get it going, my guy. One day I'm gonna be like you guys, you know? When my knees get better, I'm gonna get like you guys. Raheem, tell the people, what's the most amount of miles you ran in one weekend? The most amount of miles I've done in one weekend? Yeah. I would say it's close to 40 miles. But that was because I was doing a 100 mile race, that's why though. Actually, it wasn't 40. In the weekend, it was like 80, yeah. I got there on Friday, did 20. And then Saturday, Sunday, I did 80 miles to finish the 100 miles. So, like, I try to do like goals that like scare me yeah. during the year. Oh, yeah. But in, like, I've been thinking after uh, reading uh, Goggins' book, I've been thinking about doing a 100 mile race for dude. so long, and I was able to do it this year. So it was rewarding at the end of the year. And Damn, I, yeah. dude, that's insane. Thanks, brother. That is freaking nuts. Marcellus, did you know that Raheem one time ran 100 miles in three days? You think you could do that? I didn't know that that was humanly possible, but if there is a human that could possibly do that, it would be Raheem. So we're headed out to the ranch. We need to practice shooting. I was out there not too long ago with Alex and I couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. We got the ranch dog in the back, of course. Can't go anywhere without him. Uh, we'll be heading back tonight though. Gotta get to church in the morning, can't miss that. Um, but without further ado, I will see y'all at the back 400. It is 7.29, we have about 15 minutes of daylight and I've already been out here for two hours. <laughs> Not doing too hot, but I think I, I think I have a cue that I can go with that will at least make it look like I've done it before when I'm out in Montana. We're gonna get some reps in. Hopefully I can hit something and it's not ridiculously embarrassing when I'm out in Montana. So let's give it a go. All right, camera was not rolling at the end there, but I did go three for three. I know some of y'all may not trust that, but I did go three for three. When I first learned to shoot a shotgun, I kept my right eye closed because I shoot lefty. Apparently that's a bad way to learn how to shoot. I watched about four hours worth of YouTube videos last week on how to shoot a shotgun. I think it actually kind of worked. So I'm feeling pretty, pretty good for Montana now. Yeah, I'm very excited for it. And also just like, this is, this does not get old. This is gorgeous. Now, Toro's been in the bunkhouse for about two hours now, just probably needs to pee. So we're gonna go let Toro out. <laughs> 